Using information ethically and avoiding plagiarism is an important part of any academic work. To avoid plagiarism, we need to know what it is first. Plagiarism is the act of taking someone else's words or ideas and using them as if they were your own. While all acts of plagiarism include passing off someone else's work as your own, some types are considered more offensive than others. For example, handing in an entire paper written by someone else and then putting your name on it is the most severe and obvious form of plagiarism. However, paraphrasing someone else's words and writing it as your own idea is plagiarism too. How can you avoid plagiarism? First, your own words and thoughts should be the basis of any assignment. The ideas of others should be used to reinforce your point. Next, make sure any sources you use to support your ideas are cited correctly. What needs to be cited? If you take a quote directly from one of your sources, you need to cite it. If you paraphrase or change the wording of a certain idea from one of your sources, you need to cite it. If you summarize an entire article or book, you need to cite it. If you use an image that you did not create, you need to cite it. Just to be safe, when in doubt, cite it. Now that we know what we need to cite, how do we do it? Citing sources is a two-step process. First, you must have the citation for any source. This is what would appear on your Works Cited page at the end of your paper. Let's say this is the article we want to use. There are a few different ways to generate a citation. The first way is to use the citation created by the database. Many databases have a cite icon that you can select and then look for the type of citation you need. Anytime you use this option, be sure to review the citation for any possible errors, especially in formatting. However, because not all of your sources will come with their own citations, it's important to learn how to create them on your own. The information needed to create a citation varies depending on the type of source. You can use one of the library's citation guides to help you determine what elements are needed for each type of source. You can find the information within the source itself, or if you're using a library resource, you can look in the record for the item to find much of the information you'll need. Here's what our citation would look like for that source. Once you have the citation for your source, you will be able to format your in-text citations. Your in-text citation should lead anyone reading your paper directly to the appropriate entry on your Works Cited page. Here's what I mean. This is the entry we created for our source. When citing our source, our in-text citation should lead the reader directly back to the citation on our Works Cited page. Usually, this means that the in-text citation starts with the same element as the citation from your Works Cited page. There are multiple citation styles that will outline the rules of how you cite your sources. Most courses will require you to use either MLA or APA style. You can find guides for using both of these styles in the library or on the library's website. One last thing to keep in mind are the penalties for academic dishonesty. Students found committing plagiarism can face consequences that range from a failing grade for the assignment to a failing grade for the course. Let's review. Plagiarism is the act of taking someone else's words or ideas and using them as your own. There are many types of plagiarism ranging from handing in a whole assignment that doesn't belong to you to simply forgetting part of a citation. To avoid plagiarism, you should base any assignment on your own thoughts and ideas and use outside sources to support them. Direct quotes, summaries, paraphrases, and images all need to be cited. To properly cite a source, you need a citation and a parenthetical citation. There are different citation styles. Most classes will require MLA or APA style. And lastly, when in doubt, cite it. If you have any questions, feel free to call, email, or stop into the library to meet with a librarian anytime.